Hello everyone, I am your community manager, Sean Sunday, and welcome back to another little tip and trick video about how you can use Baldur's Gate 3 to create content with Arkenforge. So we are in the character creator here, and I'm going to show you how to make tokens out of your initial characters before you get into the game and start customizing their clothing and armor and all that kind of cool stuff. So we've just finished making this character here, and I'm going to grab some screenshots of it at this stage so that I can get almost a full body shot with the uh, little proceed button and stuff there. Because uh, when you go to the next stage, it cuts off a little bit more close to the knees. So we're going to grab a couple of screenshots here. This is also really good for the artists if you want to draw your characters at their various stages. Then we're going to hit proceed, which will give us this. It'll get rid of that left hand side menu, which means we can zoom in even more here and get a bigger picture. So we're going to do that on a different, few different angles as well. And then we're going to zoom in one more to get a real close up on the face. So you can do all kinds of things with these. You can use the screenshots of this super close up and remove the background in Photoshop and things like that before putting it into a token creator. But we're going to go ahead and jump over into the Fateful Force token creator that you've seen in our other videos and make a token with this. So let's okay, go. and we are back with the Faithful Force Token Maker. So what you want to do is jump into your screenshots folder and drag one into the Token Maker like this. Give it a quick resize like that. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of the writing at the bottom there because I'm going to choose a nice thick border like this, which covers it up and gives me a nice token like that. So next you want to hit download token and save that to wherever you want to save that. And then we'll jump over into the Arkenforge toolkit and I will show you how to import it. Let's go over and do that now. Okay, now we're in the Arkenforge toolkit, we're going to import our token. So once again, the quickest way to do it is to drag that image straight onto the map and it'll just drop it as an image ready to go, ready to be resized, etc. If it's a really, really big image, it might not you know, set to a normal single square. So the most effective way to do it is to use our import feature, which is up here. Click on the import and import token, select your token. Here it is with all the options. So we're just going to put dragonborn as the hover text. And we're going to leave it at five squares vision distance. No, we'll make it six. We're going to turn vision active. We're going to leave it as one square size because it's a normal sized character. We're going to make the field of view smaller so that you can see how that works. And we're not going to turn on dark vision or night vision. And then you just click close. And there's your token. Set to be one square. Ready to move around. And so we're going to come up here to fog of war up the top and turn on enable fog. So now you can see the field of view. Rotate that around. And um, then you can go up to more options and here in, you can set it to vision only and that'll hide already seen areas. We can turn hide already seen areas off and there you can see it revealing everything as you move around the map. Turn hide already seen areas back on and it'll hide it as you move around. So if you make any cool tokens with your Baldur's Gate characters, show us the screenshots on social media, jump in our Discord and share them in the Show Off channel. And yeah, give us a tag. We'd love to see what you're doing, especially if you're using them in maps in the Arkham Forge Toolkit. Uh, tune in for the next Cool Tips and Tricks video. Not sure what that's going to be. And don't forget to check out the Arkham Forge Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Forge. And give us a follow because we're going to be doing a lot of mini painting for some of our new content coming up. We'll see you soon.